Pirà Sandorini. So welcome back to my channel guys thanks so much for tuning in so we're doing a beautiful virtual walking tour of sandorini i am so excited to show you guys some beautiful parts of the island of sandorini in greece but before we get started make sure you subscribe down below and you give the video a thumbs up as it absolutely helps the channel and send this video to a family or friend that you want to come explore sandorini greece with so i absolutely fell in love with sandorini this trip guys i had come to sandorini about oh i'm dating myself a little bit but probably about 10 years ago at this point um, but I had just visited on a cruise and as much as it was a beautiful stop and I still was able to go onto the top of the caldera and we had gone into Fira, it still wasn't, um, you know, the full experience as it is when you actually stay on the island I used to do cruises all the time I mean I've literally done so many I probably couldn't even count right now off the top of my head and I absolutely love them but that was actually the last cruise that I was on not for any particular reason it just kind of happened that way um, but after that I have just been you know vacationing long term I guess is a better way to say it but staying in Sandorini is absolutely just such a different vibe, such a different experience. Now, they do say that volcanic rock actually does absorb negative energy. And since basically the entire island is made out of volcanic rock, maybe that's why... <laughs> maybe that's why it just feels so good here because there's really like no negative vibes right um but i just i can't explain it even just walking down the street walking through the town it just does something for me and they actually are doing a lot of construction which you already saw we passed by a lot of it where they're making it a lot easier for people to walk into Fira because Sandorini is expanding. And as much as everyone stays in the, um, you know, in Fira, in Iya, where, you know, you get those whitewashed buildings and everything else, people are now realizing that there is a lot more to Sandorini than just those areas to stay in. You still need to go and experience those, period. There, I am not... Um, saying do not do that but staying wise there is a lot more areas that you can stay in and they're building out a little bit out of um, Fira but you know still on the outskirts to where you can walk in so that's kind of how I started this tour so you guys can just see a little bit more than just that um, don't worry, the full whitewashed buildings and full Fira and full Ia, those walking tours are coming, so make sure you are subscribed. But a lot of the times I, and not just myself, but mostly everyone goes into the, the main areas. But really, every Greek island is beautiful, even outside of the main areas. I started doing driving tours because even the in-between of, you know, the really popular places are just still so beautiful. The stores, the cafes, the shops, the way the streets look, the narrow roads, the cobblestone, like literally everything just really makes up the entire place the entire experience it's not just the you know specific popular area that really is all you should be seeing and that's not what i wanted to display in this video i wanted to show you guys a little bit more than just that the back you know the back roads some of the other different alleyways and just little secret kind of streets that you wouldn't go to because you or not just you, but really all of us 
kind of congregate to the main areas. And when you go on tours and stuff like that, that's really where they push a lot of us, right? And a lot of tourists and a lot of visitors. But going and exploring and walking through these beautiful towns is really where you are going to be able to really just experience for myself actual Greece see the Greek people see you know the little actual local places that they go to and it's also better prices also a lot more traditional food just so you guys um, know that is um, a little tiny secret tip it's not saying that the tourist areas don't have good food I've definitely eaten some very good like high quality food but when it comes to traditional meals that's not more of like a neo-contemporary kind of a neoclassical excuse me restaurant that you know they are emulating like, like the traditional greek cuisine you kind of miss the mark sometimes on the local stuff so i just wanted to you know showcase something different but still we are still in fira and there is actually a difference between Thira and Fira. So a lot of, um, you know, I'm in a lot of different groups and travel groups and I everyone kind of gets confused. So Thira is basically like all like it's the second name, I guess you would kind of say of like Sandorini and like the entire area as opposed to Fira is just that particular area where all the whitewashed buildings are that you know like you you see everywhere so that is definitely something that i learned while i was there because i am not from sandorini i am greek if you don't know but i am from an island called kefalonia which is on the other side closest to italy in the ionian sea which is an absolutely beautiful beautiful island and that I know a lot about, you know, I know a lot of, a lot about the history and the towns and everything else. But when it comes to all these new islands that I've been exploring, Paros, Sincriti, Sadorini, Naxos is coming up. I am, as much as I'm Greek and I speak the language, I am just as much a tourist as you guys are. And I ask questions and I learn along the way so I did end up asking a local that uh, I ended up you know like speaking with and stuff when I was over there and I asked them you know why do some people say Thira and then other people say Fira so just a little helpful information or I guess um, interesting information that I had learned while I was in Sandorini. Now, another thing I want to mention, as I really have just made it a mission to kind of mention this in as many videos as I can, because unfortunately this year there was a few accidents with tourists on different Greek islands, and I really, if I can help even one person watching this video, I feel that I have done a service to my viewers. So right now I left early morning and it is about like 9.30 a.m. That's why the streets are crowded, but they're not super Sandorini crowded. And if you have seen any other videos of Sandorini, you know what I'm talking about, where you're just going in a straight line and you can't move early morning for myself from what i experienced after staying there for several weeks was the best time to explore number one because you don't get all of that you know uh, traffic and so many people but also the heat so guys i really want to implore you when you are traveling to greece you are either going to travel with a hat or you are going to buy one as soon as you land and as soon as you start exploring the heat is just different and greek and if you aren't careful you can go from feeling totally fine to not feeling good at all very very quickly so please when you come to explore you wear a hat you see in almost all of my videos and probably all of my videos that i am always wearing a hat sunblock i am always hydrated and i grew up coming to greece every single summer and i still there was moments where i went to do walking tours for you guys and i was exploring myself with my hat sunblock and water and i still 
felt the heat get to me where I started feeling a little bit dizzy. I had to find shade. I was running to go get juice, fruits, and big old ice cream cones. <laughs> Literally, like the largest ones I could find, I would be eating them because it is actually a little dangerous. So I want to make sure that I always mention that in the videos. So if you can explore, especially in Sandorini again, just to kind of beat those big crowds, why not go early morning? I understand if you are coming on a cruise, that's something that's out of your hands because by the time you dock, you get, you know, onto the island, then come up all the way to the caldera. It's really that timing is out of your hands. But if you are here on Sandorini Island and you are actually vacationing on the island, it's just the most prime time, I feel like. And then again, also, if not after, I would say 5 p.m., even 5 p.m., the sun is still pretty strong. That is really when all of us Greeks go actually for their swim is, is late um, afternoon time but it's not as intense as I would say from about 11 to five. So I really just wanted to make sure that I mentioned that. And again, if I can help just one person, I feel like I have done a service for my viewers. So please enjoy this beautiful walking tour of Tirasadorini. So, so much more beautiful views coming up in this video.
I really hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful virtual walking tour of Pira Sadorini. And please don't forget to subscribe down below. I have videos coming out every single day on the channel. So much content for Greece, for Sadorini, and all the other islands. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Until next time.